Hey guys, um, seen a lot of comments about talking about gear. So here it is. We're gonna talk real quick about my pedal board and why I'm using that. So I'm gonna show you a picture of it. Just take it with my iPhone. Hey, I'm filming every this, everything, all this with my iPhone. So <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, so it's gonna just slide in here and you can see the picture of it. Uh, I guess we just start from where I plug in my guitar and we keep going, okay? So my guitar goes into that blue pedal up in the right corner. Uh, it's a fuss pedal made by Chase Tone. Why that one? It just sounds great. Cool fuzz. <laughs> great sound uh it has like a bass cut and um that really helps with uh you know humbuckers and all that check them out called chase tone so i run i will always want to run a fuss straight in from my guitar because for some reason it just sounds better to me at least okay so next in order um uh if we go from the right there, you see a uh, little poly tune. It's just a tuner. So the volume pedal is is uh, is attached to the uh, switching system. So the volume is actually after all the overdrives and all that, and before the delays. And why is that? Because I. You know, you want to be able to turn your volume down and still have a crunchy sound, right? Uh, but you want to let the delay go. So if you have a volume pedal before your overdrives, it's going to... Uh, um, kind of clean up your sound when you're pulling it down so that's why i want to have it after all the overdrives and then before the delay and reverb so everything can ring out if you turn down you know now i just have a short delay on but but so that's why uh what's next next to the volume pedal is a tiny little uh tremolo pedal that i always kind of had this it's a super cheap uh tremolo call from mala malaco i think it's called and i just got it on one setting uh i always like that tremolo for some reason i have it on the same uh, speed and it's just feels like it gives it a slight db boost when i'm turning it on so I don't know, I, I like it. So that in the switching system and it's after the drives. Um, what else? So, okay, so next to uh, the tremolo pedal is a compressor called Cali 76 from or Origin Effects. Uh, I'm using that one. I think it's super transparent and uh, it's good when you record guitars and stuff. I have a little bit of a... <laughs> little bit of a compression on it. Above that is a yellow pedal. It's an Octavia, also from Chase Tone. Uh, super cool. I'm a big fan of Octavia's. I also run that after the fuss, but before the switching system. So it's like. So it can really respond to um, uh, my guitar volume. Yeah. Uh, okay, next to that is a Rotosonic rotary speaker pedal from Keeley. This is more of a of univibe kind of sound. 
like chorusy, you know. And I run that before the drives to, uh, I don't know, to me it sounds better. Okay, uh, above the yellow pedal uh, in the uh, in the right side again is a Polara reverb. So I I like to have a reverb on the amp a little bit, and then I also have the reverb uh, on my pedal board, and I love the mix of that. And uh, maybe turn the delay off so. It's so you can hear it, it's both. And it's it's a hauled sound, and it's quite a lot of reverb, but I don't know, it works for me. Um, obviously, you can't have too distorted of an amp if you're going to run reverb in front of it. It's going to sound terrible, so... You uh, you kind of have to have a cleaner amp to make it work, and that the the reverb is last in in everything on my pedal board. Okay, and all right. So what do we have next to that? Is that red? Uh, it's a Klon, uh, the smaller version of of the Klon pedal overdrive. Um, beautiful sounding, yeah. Uh, killer pedal. Um, and it's, uh, Responds great from the guitar, uh, works great with a big amp, small amp, uh, beautiful sounding pedal. And below that is a black pedal, you sense gain and volume on it. It's from my friend Jesse Hoff from uh, Lacey J uh, Amplifiers. He made that pedal for me. Uh, I don't know if he has a name for it. But, it, you know, he makes the cruiser pedals that I use for many, many years. But this one, uh, I don't know what to say, but I, that pedal I keep on pretty much all the time. <laughs> uh, it's just, I actually kind of, without it, I keep a low volume, but I it's cranked really hard on on the pedal so it's a lot of db louder uh i like it that way so i can just turn down on the guitar i like the cleaner sound uh with that pedal on <laughs> than the cleaner sound without it so yeah so that thing is on all the time thank you jesse i love you i think it's best best thing ever all right, so, and next to that is the uh, digital delay from Boss. It's a DD500. Why am I using that? Um, it's got tape delays. Um, um, it's easy to use. Uh, uh, and I got it set up for each song, you know, for uh, different tempos. Uh, for most most of it, I got that slap back that you hear. A really short uh, delay. And then I can switch to a longer one for guitar solos. And I usually keep it quarter notes. Uh, and like I said, on, on my switch, switching system, I can tap tempo, so um, it will follow whatever I'm playing to, okay? And then I have usually a third delay for each song where I got it to... Uh, uh, 
got an eight uh, delay. I use it, very, uh, you know, uh, very sparsely. <laughs> the, I would say the the slapback is probably the, the most used because that that's what I got on all the time. Uh, all right, to the left of that is the Boss MD500. Why am I using that? Uh, I'm a big tremolo fan. And I always kind of got a slight tremolo. I, and that is addition to, you know, that small tremolo. That I, I use only sparsely, but this, the Boss MD500, is pretty much on all the time. And it's got great little extra, a lot of cool like choruses and and uh, and obviously what I also use it for is a Leslie simulator. Um, I can't always bring my my beautiful old vibratone, so I got to rely on a pedal for for Leslie vibes and and. Um, <laughs> pretty good and I'm using an expression pedal with it so I can do the fast and slow you know I don't know if you can hear that but to me the whole thing with a Leslie if you're gonna use one is the the coolness between the fast and the slow you know that's the that's the beauty of it Okay, and then it's the switching system, which is the Boss ES8. Uh, super sturdy, always worked for me. I, I travel with it so much and I never had a problem with it. Uh, Dave Friedman built the pedal board for me. And on the side, I have three outputs. I have... Uh, two outputs that go to two small amps, like a Princeton and my Lacey J, J20. Uh, and one of them is isolated, so you can run two amps without getting any ground hum and all that. Um, let me know if you have any questions with that in the comments or whatever, so I can help you with that if if you can't do it with an isolated output. This, uh, most AB pedals are set up that way. Because uh, otherwise, you know, you have, get a ground hum through both uh, both amps. And by all, I also have a third output that uh, disconnects all the the delay, reverb, and tremolo. Uh, it only uses the drives, and that goes to my uh, guitar Leslie. So I only get a dry tone to that. Uh, my, because I don't want to have delays and stuff in, in, in the Leslie. So that's it. That is the whole thing. Uh, fairly simple. It looks like a giant board. It is a giant board. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. But uh, but uh, it's fairly simple, you know. I, I uh, pretty much got the same tone all the time, you know. So it's not much to it. Anyway, I hope that helps. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.